Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Swagman Dispatch platform style bike rack, and we're gonna see how it fits on the back of our 2017 Winnebago View motorhome. So if you're looking for just a simple way to get two bikes to your campsite on the back of your motorhome, and you're maybe not too concerned with e-bike compatibility, then I think the Dispatch is a really great option here. You're only gonna get a 45 pound capacity per bike, so not great for your e-bikes, but there's plenty of options out there for that if that's something that you are looking for. But if you don't need the heavy capacity, then why pay for it? The dispatch is gonna work just fine. And it does clear really well on the view here. Where a lot of other bike racks have had clearance issues on our handlebars, we actually have a pretty good amount of space here from the back of our slide. So it's really just down to your bikes at that point. Our handlebars from the center are 12 inches wide. So any wider, like maybe on a mountain bike, you may run into some issues, but if you've got a larger and a smaller bike, in that case, you might consider putting your smaller bike on that inner cradle and the larger bike on the outer. Our primary hold on the bike is gonna be using these frame hooks. Frame hooks do mean that we wanna avoid carbon frame bikes entirely because this does put a lot of pressure on that frame and any alternative frames will probably need something like a bike adapter bar, a piece that joins between the handlebars and the seat post here and gives you this nice flat attachment point so that the hook can grab something and not slip out from underneath it. At the bottom, we've got wheel straps, and those will be the first thing we wanna remove when taking the bike off. The cradles are a bit more narrow than some other options out there, but can still accommodate a three inch tire width. But once you get both of those straps removed, you can move on to those hooks up top because these are the things that really hold the bike upright. The buttons on here are locking, so that can keep your bike secured. But when they're unlocked, the button will just release the ratcheting mechanism and allow us to lift up. Now they also can be just completely removed it just makes lifting the bike up and away a little bit easier. And for this inner bike, if you've got a free hand, you can pull this mass down by lifting the lever, but it can be hard to get that started. So if you find it's a little too much, you can just lift the bike over that mast as well if you're comfortable with the weight of it. When the bikes are unloaded, I always like to just put these hooks back in place and we can fold the mask down. Again, there's that lever that you can pull at the bottom and with your other hand pretty easily push it down and out of the way where it'll click into place. Now this is gonna be your primary stored position. It's gonna give us access to this cargo area if we need it, allowing us to fully open that door and load things in and out pretty easily, but also open our slide. With the mast upright, it'd be blocking it. And of course, with bikes loaded, it'd block it too. So when you get to your campsite, unload the bikes, and you get full access to your motorhome and that slide. And like I mentioned earlier, you do have to lift the bikes pretty high to load and unload them. And that's because of the back end here, we've got about 29 and a half inches of ground clearance. At that point, you're not worried about bottoming out. Like I said before, it's about how high you have to lift it at that point. But some other measurements we can look at are the distance from the bumper. And that's gonna be about 28 inches that we're adding to the back of our motorhome. Not too bad. There's certainly more compact options out there, but the more compact it gets, the more clearance issues you'll likely have with your handlebars. So this for me is a pretty good spot. Now this rack does have the ability to remove this pin and clip and fold it upright for storage. But when used on a motorhome, Swagman wants you to replace this pin and clip with an included nut and bolt. This is how it's gonna come out of the box, so that's what it looks like, so you know what to look for. And the replaced hardware would look much like this nut and bolt right here. And because of that, you're likely not going to be folding it up and down very frequently on your motorhome, just because it's gonna be a pain to break out tools every time you do that. Which is why I said this position right here with the mask down is gonna be your storage position. Now down at the bottom, it's fitting inside our two inch by two inch receiver tube. 
and it does come included with a locking anti-rattle bolt that keeps things nice and solid in the hitch, and the lock is key to like to those hooks up top. So if you're looking for a really solid bike rack on your Winnebago view, I think the dispatch is a great place to go. If you only need to carry two bikes and you're not super concerned about the weight capacity, then this is the clear winner in my opinion. If you need to carry more bikes with you, I'd recommend going with something like the Hollywood Racks Destination 4 bike rack. That worked really well on here. Or if you're concerned about carrying e-bikes, I'd upgrade to the Saris MHS Duo. That will be a much more premium bike rack, but it can carry up to 80 pounds per bike and it's gonna be really user friendly. So you'll get a big upgrade by going that way. And you're gonna get better clearances because lots of other e-bike racks are gonna have issues with the back and handlebars like I mentioned before. But if the dispatch fits your needs, I do think it's gonna be an excellent option for the 2017 Winnebago View. I'm Aiden and thanks for watching.